Well, Tom, during that hearing, people on both sides of this amendment weighing in, including the Department of Health and Human Services, which is opposed to the amendment, even today calling it dangerous. Now, the amendment would prevent schools K through 12 and employers from mandating the vaccine and would keep the state from passing any law mandating vaccines or the creation of registries that keep track of those immunized. Several people speaking out against mandating the COVID-19 vaccine since it's not fully approved by the FDA. Right now it's authorized for emergency use. Also bringing up concerns over We're civil ahead. liberties. Meantime, DHHS and others taking the opposite position. Vaccine requirements are essential to the health and safety of our communities. Letting children attend school without regard to vaccination status will set us back over 100 years before we had safe and effective vaccines. When millions of children were infected and disabled by vaccine preventable diseases and thousands died each and every year. The solution to um, these, I these ideas of vaccine hesitancy is actually to respect individual choices, respect individual Americans, and to respect the science. The truth and healing in our nation is gonna come in the center not in a, in, in a polarized discourse. As I see it right now, there is tremendous polarization on this idea. Now the amendment would allow healthcare providers to ask their employees about vaccine status if a direct threat is determined. Reporting live, I'm Sharice LeClaire, WMUR News 9.